So Lee, we're going under, like we're turning the wheel this way, then we're going under and keeping the depth all the way to about here, and then we're letting and it. And then you're gonna let it go. Thanks for watching. This is a really exciting video that I'm doing with Lee Dietrich, who just celebrated his 80th birthday. So put a happy birthday to Lee there. <laughs> Lee called me, we did a video last week about, or two weeks ago about hitting driver straight. And then he started researching some new things that are going around in the golf swing. And he called me really excited and he's like, you gotta try this. It's really exciting. So we have some tools here that are gonna show it, our Frisbee and this weight. But it all started, you saw a Martin Ayres video. I that saw was a really Martin exciting. Ayres video yeah. that I, 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 know, I know of Martin Ayres from Secret Golf and Secret in the Dirt from yeah. maybe 15 years ago. Uh -huh. But this is a little different than what he was doing. So yeah. let me just go really show you what he did. He talked about the body alignment with the hands. I'm gonna do it from my whole body, including my feet. Okay, so when I loosen it to the left, I'm gonna, my whole body from my feet. There you go. See that? There you go, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, haven't I rotated to the right, JH? Yeah. I have. Yeah. But this has moved to the left. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Without moving. There we go. Okay, we massive go. opposition, apparently. Now, as I go in that apparent opposition, I'm gonna let the club the reference of the club, I'm gonna let that swing. Parent opposition. Now, as I let it continue swinging in that direction, when that changes, to stay in alignment with it, I have to change. Above your shoulders. Yeah. Okay, and what happens was, he would, I, he did it with left and right, I did it with a little bit under here and then a little bit under here. And what happened when I did this doing what he was doing, when I went under to the, with the left, my hip turned under. Yeah. And when I go under with the right, my right hip turned under. That's Basically, right. yeah. it would look like this. I'm gonna have it parallel to my target line. I'm gonna take it back just a little bit outside my right foot. Yep. And then I'm gonna feel my right hand go under and I'm almost gonna leave my left hand where it is and come back and then I would, I would get myself working in a motion like this. Now the error that we've seen with people doing this is they get to here and they do this out away from them. Yeah, so now like if this, go, go, if this uh, gray stripe here is the center of mass of it, show us the wrong way. Okay, what they would it do is go this way. way. What Martin showed in his channel, I'll, I'll cut he in a clip. It. He had it right over his head and he said, what people get confused is you're just turning this thing in one direction. And as you bring it lower, it still turns in this direction. And but it goes opposite. But now, because you've brought it lower, it, it feels like it's going opposite, but it's actually the same Working torque. with what he called alignment, how the body's aligned to do okay. this. So, so the drill for everybody to do is, uh, that Lee says, is left under, then retain the depth in this one and go right under. Left under, right under, like that. Like, yeah, you can go back and forth. So here's oh, the- Oh, and then make like a figure eight kind yeah, of Yeah, that, now it, now it morphs into the figure eight, it morphs into GRF with Marcus Bell, excuse me, as we go through like that. Uh, here's, here's the other thing that, that kind of made sense. Grab your golf club. Okay. So if we take this into a club, what we found out is we want to be a little bit forceful with the takeaway. Okay, so take your grip. Okay, if we did it as a drill, I would start you here. Mm -hmm. I'd have you go back. And what I want to do here is, as this club head gets above the handle, your hand's going to stay there and the club is going to fall behind you because of the center of mass, that's where the center of mass is. Now from there, just go into the ball and come around the ball. There's your motion through the ball. We'll go, just go through the steps of it for people to see. So dumbbell, and for me, I'm going to retain the depth in the left. Yes. So this. Okay, now you're going to keep that. This, yeah, there you go. Now you're going to come corner. back around the corner this yeah this. i wouldn't go higher than that i would i yeah. would tend to be just about right here and here yeah yeah that's where the money is made anyway we can take the club no ball yet and we go same same feeling same feel a little bit forceful now there let, let this go behind you mm -hmm. and now come in and go around like this lee yes 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 and then hit one about stay in about here right you're going to hit about 50 yards maybe at the most Good. There's ball started great. right and yeah. then it was drawn back to your target. Okay. And then I think the, the, this is the pitfall that Lee and I found. Before every Be Better Golf School, we always get together and meet about 
you know, the newest information and putting together what we want to do for the school and bring to students that is actionable stuff, not just theory, you know, that'll actually make them better in two days. We have a golf school coming up on March 18th and 19th that just a few people are signed up for. I made a mistake the last time when I put it out and I had the price was incorrect. So go check it out again. The price is actually correct now. It's uh, lower than what I had before because that was wrong. So go, go there now and sign up. It's coming up very soon. But uh, this is something we always get together and do this stuff. And when, when we were doing this an hour ago, we found that every time the club, you, the, you let the club fall this way, my hands were reacting in yeah, this direction. Yeah, you were going Lee. out. I was going that way. Yeah, do that with the dumbbell. You're gonna go back. So as you go back, you get here. What you were doing is you were actually rotating the club out this way. Mm -hmm. Whereas what I would do is I would leave the left hand where it is and rotate like that. I think that's a huge. That's a huge difference. Difference and very important, yeah. So if we hit shots and keep yeah. that depth. Another good one. Yeah, nice and straight. And that's, see what I want to do is hit shots at the target or a little right of it. Well, you want to start I want to be never right. to the left. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think a really good thing that we've seen kind of a singularity across many teachers is they, a lot of them are having people here and you can see if you're here, it's very natural to go that under, keep the depth in that way. So Lee, we're going under, like we're turning the wheel this way, then we're going under and keeping the depth all the way to about here and then we're letting it. And then you're going to let it go. Yep, and okay. so what happens is the club comes out this way from the inside mm -hmm. and then goes back around you the other way. So yeah. it's more circular through the ball. You really got to turn. There we go. That was a great one. The tennis racket here is going, not only is it leading in this direction that Martin Ayers and Lee are talking about this way, then it's coming this way, but now I have to take this edge and point it back that way. See that, that's getting my right wrist flexed back. It's right hand only, I think you might see it better. Let me go closer. Knuckles lead this way, knuckles lead that way. And then I point the, the edge of the racket there. So it's not this, see this would be what I was doing before when I was shanking it. This is what I think what a lot of people do when they just try to do the shallowing move or whatever that stuff is. But this is what you need to do. So it goes this way, it goes around and that way. And that works in complementary with how the body's moving this way, that way. The one thing I showed Lee that is kind of the way I like to do it, to, to, as long as I keep the depth anyway, I think it's important, but this is still a little bit in debate, is whether you should go here and then, see I'm taking this edge here Lee, and this is what I'm wondering about, should I keep that depth and then point that yeah, edge back that towards edge is that gonna, way? That edge is going to stay there. Go back with both hands on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, both hands, yeah. yeah. So you're here. What you would tend to do is go here, and then you would move everything out. Oh, okay. I would want, go have you go there and bring mm -hmm. everything under. Right. So, but this wrist, do you think Has I should it? It's Well, it should no, pin whenever it goes like that, it's going to get bent back. So the right wrist is bent. It's, bent as you're as you're making that motion so it yes. will get bent back but you don't have to put like extra bend back in it well it's going to happen if as you do the as you do that little infinity loop that we've seen with mark with marcus and other people good if you have this wheel right and we want to go lee wants people to go left under right yes if you go right under how does that restrict your hip motion let me use this motion. When I'm up like this, yeah. if I move my left under, I'm that moving. That opens your body back this opens way. The body ba opens the body backwards. If I go right under at a dress or right left over at a dress, then I'm turning the other way. So when I bring this down in front of me and I turn my hands this way, my body and my, and my arms and my body aren't working in, in tandem with one another because I'm going here as this goes this way, I'm going to go toward the ball. And what I want to feel is, I don't necessarily think you need to feel under, but what you need to do is, is don't go over. Yeah. Let this come back so the face is square to the arc, like I'm here. So once I get right in this area, then the, then the club 
works around me. Now, what you would tend to want to do is go out with your, with your hands would go up this way yeah. and get to, uh, you'd lose your depth. You want to get the club here and then let Retain the left the arm stay the right. where it's going to go. Yeah. So my left arm is going to stay right there as it comes back and goes through. That's something we probably just added right now. <laughs> yep. So, so something to try. So this is a this is a heavy club. So you can try it with a heavy club or you can just uh, <coughs> like put two wedges together. But you can feel how if I was to turn this like that, that's natural all together, which is the same as this. If I was to do what most people do, which is turn it this way, and I keep turning it this way, see how that is under? See, when I go like this, then you're not really gonna wanna turn your body much if you do what most people do and wrap it around their ass, like uh, mm -hmm. Pete Cowan says. Almost every good player does this motion in the backswing that has some portion of it. Matt Wolf, you actually see it. You can see everything yeah. going. You can actually, so we'll cut in his swing. <clears throat> But even in somebody that's going straight back, if you if you do this, it's gonna really restrict how much you turn in the backswing. And then if you do this in the downswing, then it's gonna restrict how much open and turn you go through this way. So you're really on the right side of success and history and stuff when you're going left under, right under. And it's not really, it's not necessarily under. You do that when you do under and under with the dumbbell. But what you're feeling as you go back is you're feeling squareness. You're not turning it. Yeah, you're not way. letting it flop. Yeah. You are keeping it square and going there. So something I think that we found success with is take the heavy club and feel this kind of infinity loop there, retaining the depth in the left arm. Yeah, that's, that's much, much better. And then hit one. Probably just the, you know how the heavy club, you're only about here to there. That's really where you're learning anything. You get it. This is just a little pitching wedge. I'm going to try to hit this maybe 60 yards. Perfect. Like that. I hit it really 110 really yards. But yeah, that's the point. Then this is what's really interesting Perfect. is, Lee, once you, people get here, this gets people into a really great P6 position. Mm -hmm. Then once they're there, though, there can be some confusion about what to do from that P6 position. So go to P6 and talk about the different options people have. When I was younger, what we did square at this position at when the shaft is parallel, square would have been the leading edge more vertical. Yeah, the teachers now, wanted toe up. What we call so we would call it toe up. Now what we'd feel is that actually I want this leading edge more matching my spine. Now the simple way that I do that with people is if I stand up and hold this vertical and I stay up straight. When I tilt forward, that's where I haven't done any manipulation to the face. So I'm, so I'm right here. So if I'm at this location with the face square, the club will come from the inside and it'll work around to the other side. And that's our basic drill, which is toes to heels or P6 yeah, functional to P8. Swing plane. That's, a fungal, yeah. that's the one with John Rahm that we've done in the past. Now, if, however, I'm here with the toe up, now, if I do that motion, the ball is going to tend to go a little bit right. So what I would have to do is my body wouldn't be t opening up as much. Yeah. My body would tend to be squarer. And this is how I played most of my golf is I got right here and I would let my forearms rotate and hit the relatively square. And I've got a little bit more form rotation in my thing. Those are the two matchups. I mean, I think what we've learned from Marcus and from everybody we've here is we need to match up how the body's moving with the squaring of the club face. That's okay. what we need to match. So there's different ways, different ways will seem more logical to you than others. So you might like the idea, if your brain works that way, you might like the idea of clockwise, counterclockwise. You might like the idea of left under, right under, which might make more sense. And one way that, that makes sense to me is, uh, if you think of like a, a, a giant ship's wheel, like on the Jolly Roger, and you're just on the front here like this, and I was just to try to turn it, you would see that, see, I'm opening up, even though I'm just working this in this front way, I'm side bending, and a lot of this stuff that teachers talk about just kind of happens. Something that I like to do, is that's why I call it like the knuckle flow, is only really think of, it's not like 
left under, and then you're switching to right under. You can think of it as, as the right knuckles are leading this way, and then the right knuckles are still leading as they're coming around the corner that way. So it's really the same direction the whole time, just as long as you retain the depth. You like that's, that what, that's one of the things that, that Martin Ayers talked about in the thing, that the direction is constant. Yeah, the direction it's not, is motion. That's what was confusing to me, because I'm like, no, I'm going this way, then I'm going that way. But he said, no, you're really going the same direction the entire Yeah, what you're time. doing there is awesome. So we're going this way, this way, but we're retaining the depth of the left, left arm. arm. Yes, for sure. If you got a little bit of trouble with your arms going out, let me just give you a drill. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just do it. Come on in here and step in there. I'll let you do it like okay. this. I would do it with my with with the club like this. Mm -hmm. So go back and come down to P6. So I'm doing my knuckles. Okay, so the there's sense. your yep. knuckles motion. So now what happens is now that's the furthest down and the furthest out the hands are going to be. And what we're going to do now is the hand. The club head is going to come down this way toward the ball while the handle goes around your waist, around in and up, like turn in the corner, if you will. And the reason the, hand, the reason the hands follow that is because this shoulder is going to move in that direction, which is what, since my, our hands are attached to my shoulder, they got to come that way too. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm here, here. And I'm going flow. Now, now go around the corner. There's your motion. So I can even hit a little shot there if you put the club right here. So that's as deep as it's going to be. And that is just great. So I there's where you are. Yeah, that's where I would be. That's where it is. Knuckle flow, and then really go around yourself. That was perfect. Let's see where this goes. It's falling one yard left. Yeah, 170 <laughs> yard eight iron. In the, okay, awesome. Thanks for watching everybody. Like I said, we have a really exciting school coming up with Dr. Scott Lynn in Murrieta, California on March 18th and 19th. There's just a few people signed up. So it's gonna be a unique opportunity to really get to directly work with Scott and Lee and Eric Mike a pro who's won over 60 times professionally. That is amazing at all this functional swing plane stuff that we do. It's gonna be a lot of fun and a really great learning experience. Lee and I will both attest to when people get on Swing Catalyst, that is when we see the most dramatic before and afters. Before and afters that seem almost uh, unbelievable, but it consistently happens every time we get people on that because you start working with forces that are complementary to what you do yeah, naturally. And, not, yeah. and we don't have that, one of the things that's come around since 2000 where we have the force plates where we can actually measure where the people are moving and right. how they're moving. So go to bebettergolf.net slash school and sign up for that. Thanks for watching. Bye.